You know, after using so many AI tools lately, writing prompts, testing features, solving small problems here and there, I started thinking, what if all those skills could actually become something bigger? Like instead of just using other people's tools, what if we could create our own? Something that solves a real problem for ourselves or even for a community and maybe even earn from it? Well, that's exactly what we're exploring today. Because with OnSpace AI, you can now turn your prompt ideas and AI skills into fully functional applications, all with a simple prompt idea. Whether it's a productivity app, a creative tool, or something completely unique, OnSpace AI lets you bring your ideas to life in a natural, conversational way. And the best part? You can connect your app to payment systems, publish it to the App Store or Google Play Store, and share it with real users around the world. So in this video, I'll walk you through exactly how it works, step by step, by creating a complete AI-powered app from scratch and showing you how you can bring your own ideas to life. All right, once you're on the homepage of OnSpace.ai, simply click on the Try OnSpace for Free button. That will take you straight to the main workspace where we'll begin creating our app. Now, before we start building, Let's take a quick look at the interface so you can get familiar with how everything works. At the very top, you'll notice a few different options, app, website, pricing, and learn. The app section is what we'll be using today since we're creating a mobile application. The website option, on the other hand, can be used to create complete web-based projects. And if you ever wanna learn more about how the platform works, you can head over to the learn section. It has detailed documentation and tutorials that walk you through each feature step-by-step. But for now, we'll stay in the app section and focus on our project. Now, once you're inside the app builder, you'll see a text box that says, Ask on space to create. This is where we'll paste the detailed prompt we've prepared earlier for our mobile app. Right below the text box, you'll notice a small plus icon clicking on that lets you attach additional files if you want to include references like a design mockup, a Figma file, or even a small document describing your app idea. Next, we'll select the model that OnSpace will use to build our app. There are a few options here, such as Cloud, Learn Spaces, and Supabase. After that, you'll get the option to choose whether your app should be public or private. If you just want to experiment, you can keep it private. But since we'll be previewing this project later, I'll select Public, which means anyone with the link can view it. And once everything looks good, we can go ahead and click the arrow button at the bottom right corner. This will begin the build process where OnSpace starts reading your prompt, planning the structure, and creating the first version of your app. So, as you can see, it has now started generating our application. OnSpace begins by analyzing the prompt we just provided. It reads every instruction carefully, sets up the base layout, and then automatically starts creating the backend structure for our app. While this process is happening, you can actually follow everything in real time. On the left-hand side, you'll notice a live activity log. This is where all the steps are listed as the platform builds each part of your app. This area also doubles as your workspace chat, which means you can interact with OnSpace from here. If you want to make a change or fix something, you can simply type your message in the chat box and it will start working on it. On the right-hand side, you'll see a live preview of your application. Now, after a few moments, our application's first version is ready and we can see it in the preview window. Before testing it, Let's take a look at a very useful feature called the Runtime Scanner, which you'll find at the bottom of the screen. This tool scans your entire project to check if there are any errors or performance issues in the back end. Now that everything is working smoothly, let's make one more improvement. I want my app to look a bit more dynamic and modern, something that feels more cinematic. So right inside the chat box on the left, I'll type a quick message. I want you to give my application a more modern, dynamic, and cosmic look that feels cinematic. After sending that, OnSpace starts working on the visual design again, and in just a few moments, you can see the results. Our Mood Sketch app now has a fresh, updated interface with a clean cosmic gradient, glowing buttons, and smooth animations. It looks modern, visually appealing, and perfectly fits the creative theme we wanted. On the right-hand side, you'll also notice a QR code that allows us to preview the app on our phone. If you scan this code, you can open and test your application on your Android or iOS device using the OnSpace app. And now that everything's ready and looking great, it's time to test it. So, as you can see, our application now has two main sections, the Home tab and the History tab. On the Home screen, we can type in how we're feeling right now and let the app generate a visual interpretation of that mood. For example, I'll write, I feel sad today, and then click on Generate Art. 
After a few seconds, you can see that the app has created a beautiful piece of artwork that matches the mood I just described. From here, I can either download this artwork to my device or share it directly. Now that we've tested the main functionality, let's add one more layer to our app, a simple sign up and login system so users can create their own accounts and save their artwork securely. To do that, I'll open the chat window on the left-hand side again and send a quick message to our OnSpace agent. Create a sign up and login feature with email and password. After a short moment, OnSpace updates the app automatically, and here you can see our new sign up page is ready. It fits perfectly with the existing design and looks really clean. So let's test it out. I'll go ahead and sign up using my email, set a password, and enter the verification code that I received. Once that's done, we're redirected straight back to the main page. And from here, everything works just as before. I'll try the same mood prompt again. I feel sad today. And as you can see, it instantly generates a new artwork based on that mood, which I can again download or share. Everything looks great and works smoothly. Now that our app is running smoothly, let's take it one step further by adding a simple subscription plan section. This will help us give users the option to access premium features while keeping the basic ones free. So using the same chat panel on the left-hand side, I'll send a quick message to OnSpace. I'll write something like, add one more tab in the bottom bar named Plans, where users can view available plans, check their current plan, and upgrade when they want. After sending that, OnSpace will automatically create a Plans tab with a clean pricing layout showing free and premium tiers. And if you'd like to make this feature fully functional, you can simply connect your Stripe API key within the platform. For now, this is a demo version just to show how subscription plans can appear inside your app. You can visit OnSpace AI's official YouTube channel for their detailed tutorial. And that's how you can build a complete, working AI-powered app with OnSpace AI, all starting from a simple prompt idea. What I personally like the most about this platform is its customer support. If you ever get stuck anywhere, you can reach out to their team directly. And instead of chatting with an automated bot, you'll be connected to a real human who can actually guide you through your project. They're available 24 seven, and in most cases, you'll receive a proper response within a business day, which is honestly a big plus when you're experimenting or building something new. And if you'd like to give OnSpace AI a try yourself, you'll find the link in the description below, along with a way to get extra credits to start building your own app right away. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and inspiring. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more AI tool breakdowns, and I'll see you in the next.